Hey guys, uh, Metal Pete and I managed to be back at it again. Yep. <clears throat> Thankfully we were able to get a second day here in the holiday weekend. Uh, I worked today and I am exhausted. I normally come home from work and just crash. I tried not to today, but I still ended up falling asleep, but I woke up in time for Metal Pete to show up. Okay. Uh, um, <clears throat> so, this is a brown cast Dayton. You guys have seen in my videos that we have a lot of these cast Daytons, but we don't have very many in brown, and we do not have very many in sizes other than 56 inch. This is 56 inch, but yeah. it's brown. Um, when I bought this, I couldn't tell. I was hoping it was a ring, a brown ring fan, because I, I, it's funny. When I was a kid, I hated ring fans mm -hmm. um, because they were super common, and oftentimes they replaced cooler things. Um, and uh, just like the flower pot Daytons do today. And uh, then when I became a collector, I started seeing less and less of those, but I started finding more and more of these. And when I was a kid, I wanted these really badly. Uh, I was trying to think about where I first saw... I didn't see brown 56 until I became an adult. Uh, I saw white 56, and I saw brown 60-inch. Uh, there was a, a historic theater here called the Barrymore that had two brown... 60 inch was it in the theater itself <clears throat> yep like <clears throat> not <clears throat> so when i say right over the stage not literally over the stage but like over like the mosh pit or whatever like the yeah. area right in front of the stage they had two 60 inch and now they've got the flower pot 60 inch version there oh. um but um i really want they had the cast ones and i thought they were so cool um <clears throat> and uh <coughs> Excuse me. As far as the um, 56 inch cast versions in white, they used to be all over the UW. <coughs> they used to have the agricultural version, <coughs> they had this version, and they had ring fans. And so there was, especially in the Memorial Union, there were tons of places where they had cast ones and ring fans and blender fans all in the same space. Uh, I think Apple Valley Zoo might have been like that too. <clears throat> what about you, Metal Pete? Where You were just telling me where you saw these as a kid. Oh, the white ones, of course, the Bayshore Mall, the main atrium, that's like two stories up. And they had what, two of them? Oh, there was a bunch, like four or five of them. Oh. How many do they have of the flower pot ones today? Same amount. <clears throat> okay, in my memory there was just two, so I'm remembering wrong. <clears throat> yeah, there was like, there was like a whole strip of them. And, um, <clears throat> down the center. <clears throat> where'd you see the 60 inches as a kid? Do you remember? Oh, did I? You don't know if you did? No, I don't know if I actually did. What about, um, brown? Did you see any brown ones as a kid? I probably did, but don't, like, gotcha. remember where exactly. <clears throat> okay. Um, All right, so, so I, I, go ahead. Okay, go ahead, Metal Pete. <clears throat> okay, so we'll do zero to high first. There's no grommet on the J hook. Yeah, it didn't come with the grommet, and uh, so it, it jumped up to yeah one amp, and it's it should drop. I've always found it interesting that these draw so much more current than the comparable gold lines. The air movements are very similar. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. With the airflow of that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the same. Gold line. Same basic concept as a fan, just a yep. different factory. All right. Did, did you actually, did you happen to take a look at this and see what it was actually labeled? Mm. I didn't either. Mm. No. 100 watts with a, well, call it close to a power factor. Yeah, very one. close to one. I did not look, but... Oh, it is out. making bearing noise now. Hear it? Very tiny. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> it, it may affect it on low speeds, though. Go ahead, Dumpy. Spin down. Yeah. Yeah, these are one of the oldest variants of cast industrials, too. This design predates most other fans, because they showed up in Australia first. I'm sure they showed up in China before that, but, you know, we have no record of that. But 
they showed up in Australia as Weatherite. Um, and, uh... I also remember Chandru had one for sale. It was a Westinghouse label. <clears throat> he was selling that? Or... Well, I don't know if he was selling that or what. Uh, I remember seeing it with him yeah. at one of the group trips. That It was a Westinghouse label. Yeah, they were labeled Westinghouse. I feel like I might have one labeled Westinghouse, but I might be making that up. So, yeah, that was one of the earliest U.S. Let's stop already. Quit with it. Okay. Definitely has some bearing issues, but you know, the question is how many, how, how, uh, what of the bearing issues would be fixed by running it, and what needs oil or and or replacement. All right. So, <clears throat> really, no good labels on here. It would be under the lower canopy. That's where the labels are on those. Okay. Same place they are on Asana. There. Oh. Yeah. If you, if I mean, if you can't see it, but for now we can see it later. You have to lift the lower canopy. Yeah. I mean, Which I have to take a screwdriver. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so for now, I'll do the decade box. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did it start on six? No. It, <clears throat> it just kind of Jerky struggled. Well. well, it's part of that's going to be that missing grommet because then it's going to it's got to work against. But then also part of it's going to be the bearings being yeah. a little rough. Because these normally would start on five. Right. But this is seven with... Let's see if this goes any faster. Because this looks... This is not a bad low speed right here. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a yeah. Eight is definitely too fast for a low speed. Yeah. But if you if you can treat the bearings, then a standard wall control may yeah. work. Well, like I said, the one that I have at at Restore uh, is on a five. So what? What's? I don't know what the medium is on that remote, but the low is five. I assume they're five five twelve. Just you know, like most remotes from that era. Um, okay. Because it's interesting, I don't know if, if we talked before how... Yeah, we did in the last set of videos how now that everything is turning smart, smart remotes actually have lower values than... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and that's just because they're making fans more and more efficient to yep. comply with Energy Star. Yep. Nine. Ten. Twelve. And here's 13. <clears throat> okay, well, this is kind of a... This is still an okay high medium. Yeah. Here's 6, 8, and 14. Let me see what's... Yeah, 14 is a little closer and um, can be what I call a backed-off high, which is what I usually go for in a high medium. Yeah, well, they like were both this. pretty decent for a backed off high, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Still, I can. I know there'd be quite a difference if I went to high. <clears throat> 16. 17. 18. 19. And 20. high and I'm still under at 20 so it's good but an 81220 wouldn't be practical no so if I were to go 21 I'm right at 22. Let's see. Pretty 
both. And that 23 I'm right on. Now if I go 24, will I push it over? Yes. yes. So at least any wall control will not push it over. I mean... So technically, there are some wall controls that go over 20, but they're not <laughs> regular ones. They're like for palisades and yeah. other, you know, mm -hmm. just just to be technical, to be a, you know, pain in the ass about it. Sure. And now I'm going to do the solid state variable, which is what these would typically be on. Well, when I, well, I did have one of these up at my shop, my other shop, and I put it on a solid state just because, because it actually did better that way with uh, infinite speed and not here. So far, it's pretty, pretty quiet. It, it was. Even the ones that I tested on solid state were quiet. The ones you gave me. I feel like the ones in my parents' um, garage were noisy on the solid state control there, but I could be remembering incorrectly. It's been a while since those have been hanging. Yeah. Well, at this point, in the wind, the whipping noise yeah. is taking over. Yeah. Because I'm past that. Hot no, it's definitely night. bedroom quiet. I'll give you that. Yeah. And like I said, I hear a little bit of dry bearing noise. Sure. Yeah, that does well in a solid state. <clears throat> Not all of these do, but that certainly does. Oh, yeah. And the current draw is practically the same. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty hair lower. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, that's all. Uh, that's everything for this one, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. I'm okay. Well, let's see how many fans Metal Pete and I can do tonight. Right. I'm pretty tired, but I'll hang in there as long as he'll hang right. in there. So, uh, well, uh, let's see what let's see what comes next. Thanks for watching.